All right, so here we are in Photoshop, and I've got a blank canvas open just so I can demonstrate this technique for you, but you can do it on any project you want. So let's say you have a text layer that you want to turn into a barcode. So I'm going to go ahead and press T on my keyboard to open up the text tool here, and I'm going to go ahead and write out the text that I want to write out. So I'll use my website here. You just want to use a font that doesn't have any fancy distortions to it, or any handwriting effects. It's just a clean, blocky font. This way, it'll have a clean edge for us to stretch out. Um, so some things you can do to help this look better before we stretch it is open up the character panel, and that's right over in window character here, if you don't see it. And here you can adjust the size and the tracking and all types of stuff about the text layer. So of course, once you have the size that you want, what I like to do is right here, this is the tracking. So I like to squeeze it in a little bit by setting it to maybe negative 20 or so. It's going to be different for every font you use, but we'll use negative 40 for this one. And then also you can adjust the height of the, the text. So what I like to do, because we're going to stretch out the actual bottom of it, is kind of flatten it down to be a little bit more square. So I'm going to use 80% here, and then if you want you can scale it horizontally as well, but that's just some extra settings you can play with. So once you're happy with those, you can close the character window, and then just grab your move tool and position your, your layer where you'd like. So I'm going to leave it right up there, and then we're going to just go ahead and duplicate this layer by right clicking on it and selecting duplicate, and then I can just hide the original layer because we're going to go ahead and have to rasterize this one. Photoshop won't let you transform a text layer in the way that we're gonna, so all I did there was create a backup for me in case I needed to go back to it. So go ahead and rasterize this duplicated layer, and then you want to grab a tool right over here. It's the single row marquee tool. It's under the rectangular marquee tool if you click and hold it. So what this does is it grabs a single row of pixels and makes a selection. So you want to make your selection just a few pixels above the bottom of whatever you're trying to stretch out. So there's a solid line of pixels. And then make sure you're working on your new rasterized layer and go to edit, free transform. So this will open up the transformation arrows and you just want to grab the bottom middle and just click and stretch it down. And you should see a cool little barcode effect appear. Go ahead and press enter when you stretched out as far as you like, and then you can right click and deselect to see your final effect. So if you like this video, leave a thumbs up, let me know what you want to see if you have any questions. Check out the channel for more, and of course subscribe to stay tuned for the next tutorials. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.